Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to install Zeeland's new gen face pack. It's pretty simple. So you'll need basically just a few pieces of software and the face pack itself. Now to download the face pack itself, it's eight and a half gigs. You can use one of the download links here from FM base, or you can click up here and download the torrent file. And then they recommend Qubit torrent. I recommend that too. It's a great torrenting client. Just download it. It's eight and a half gigs and just then put it straight into your graphics folder, extract it, have all your ethnicities here with all the files. Yeah, super easy. This part shouldn't be a problem. Once you've done that, now they do have an installer here. I don't know how often they update this. Instead, there is a GitHub page. The GitHub page will be linked below. It's uh, the new GAN manager GitHub page. There's a few instructions, but basically what we want from GitHub, we just click releases over here. And then we go to this latest release, new GAN manager installer windows.zip. All right, click that, it'll download. I already have uh, this download previously, but I'll just download it real quick here and install it. Okay, so now it's downloaded. Let's uh, install it real quick. Once it's installed, there is um, one thing we need to do before we can run it. So it's a super quick install. That's it, we're done here. Bring back programs, all right. This, uh, I'll leave the path. To get here, you press, uh, you type in local, oh, push percent sign, local app data percent slash programs. Okay, select that, brings you to, to this uh, folder, new GAN manager. Now we can't run it just yet. This has something to do with the installer. It doesn't uh, move all the folders incorrectly. So what you need to do is just double click app, config, copy, control C or right click copy, go back and paste. All right, now we have the config. Now I'll start new GAN manager. The first start might take a while because it needs to generate some stuff. All right, so we have new GAN manager. This is the UI, create a profile, test, create, select that profile. Select image directory. Now, you need this directory, all right? So it's in documents, sports interactive, football manager 2021, graphics, FM new GAN v2, all right? So that's what we're doing. So this PC, Documents, scroll, 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 scroll. Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2021, Graphics, FM Nugan V2. Just FM Nugan V2, not one of those subfolders. All right, that's fine. Now, RTF file. Let's go into the game. I'm unemployed, but it doesn't matter. It helps a lot having the in game editor. All right, so uh, because I'm unemployed, I actually see everyone. But if you are employed, you go up here and just uh, sh it'll have the option show all players in search or something along those lines. So uh, you do that. Yeah. Once you have that ticked, you go here, add condition, hidden is new gen, set that is not, press okay. Now we have all the regions in, in the game. I, I click this guy, see he's a regen. I can scroll down, click this guy, he's a regen, all right? Now, how do we get this into uh, New GAN Manager? Well, if we go back to New GAN Manager and Graphics, all right, there's in here App Views. There's these views. You go here, and you basically copy these, paste all of these views here. I can here. I'll do it now. Place. All right. Now we have all the views. Okay. You don't have to move them. If you don't want to, you can undo and just copy them instead. If you want to keep it for some reason, that's fine. After we've filtered out to Nugent's, this again is only with the in-game editor. We go custom. Well, it's down here, but import view, it won't show up. Script faces player search because we're on the player search. Right, player search, right? If you're on player shortlist, you do the player shortlist view. Now, what this does is gives us a unique ID for a main nationality, second nationality, name, and then three hidden values 
that this view adds that you can't add manually otherwise it's SI doesn't exactly want you to have access to these views, but we've quote unquote hacked the game to have these views. All right, from this point, you do control A, that selects all 5,804 players, which are all new gens. Then you control P on your keyboard. That uh, tells it to print. Click text file, okay, and name it. New gens list. All right, you don't have to name it that, you can name it whatever, then click save. Now, if we go back here, foot, in the football manager folder, I think we're done with this folder. You'll see new gens list. You, you can save it somewhere else. It's just easier. Now we go back to new gen manager, RTF file. Click that. Uh, go to document sports interactive football manager 2021. I'll also have the shortcut to that. But basically the shortcut is user profile percent sports. Uh, sorry, documents, sports interactive, football manager, 2021. All right, that gets you here. That's the shortcut to this. Then you click open. Now we have our face pack selected, our RTF file selected. We make sure it's on generate if it's the first time you're generating for uh, your profile, which is our test profile, and you click replace faces. It might say here, not responding. Don't worry. Um, if we go, I shouldn't have closed it now that I think about it. Local app data percent programs. New GAN manager, right? We have new GAN that log, which will open in a notepad. All right. You'll see it says 1,045 Caucasian. If I close it, open again, and scroll all the way down, it's a different number. So it might say not responding, just let it go. You saw just between clicking those, it did like 400. And the more you have, the longer it'll go. This is just a current bug as of recording this with NuGAN Manager. I'm sure Gestalt, the developer, will come around to fixing it eventually. It's still working fine, all right? Now, we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, so I entered this folder to show you I don't have a config here yet. This is where the config will show up once the new GAN manager is done. And you'll know new GAN manager is done because it'll have a pop-up. There we go, that's the pop-up finished smiley face. You press okay. We're done with new GAN manager. We now have a config. So we have this config, you'll notice African to person, blah, 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 right, right, right. All these, it's mapped every single player that's in the RTF file. Now, I'll click here. We still have the old faces. What you do, FM preferences, you go to interface, in interface, you untick use caching time to decrease page loading time for the first time and reload skin when confirming changes and preferences. And then if you if that's already the case, you just click reload skin. If not, you press confirm and it'll reload. And now it's reloading. It's now getting the new config we just generated for all of these regions and assigning all of them uh, the pictures we have. Now, if I click Kevin Babele again, Notice it changes picture, all right? And this is true for any of these regions. I'll just click this one, all right? He has a real looking face. This one has a real looking face. So this works for all regions. Now, if for some reason the application stops or doesn't give you a full list, the best thing you can do is report it. Now, the, uh, report it to the developer in Zealand's original video there's an email at the bottom and it says give them your nuganda log which is where you got the views and you got the dot config folder from you send that file and your dot rtf file which is um this file that you were trying to generate with if it's failing this means one of two things one uh, there's an issue with one of the ethnicities and the program doesn't know how to read it properly. Or two, you run out of faces. If you ran out of faces, 
there's uh, I don't know if there is one at the moment, but in the future there's most likely packs you can download and just drop in to any of these ethnicities and then run new GAN manager again. Like it's scalable. So if that's the case, just you know, drop in the extra pack or whatever it is, and that should be the case. Either way, if it stops, just report it to the developer so he can fix it and make this program better. Unfortunately, right now, there isn't really a way you can search for regions without the in-game editor. There might be an external program like Genie Scout or FMRTE that comes out with that feature, but as far as I know, FMRTE's version at the moment doesn't work properly. It shows some real players, which you, and it's the same basically as if you just search for players under the age of 17, because and Nugent's can't be younger than that. I don't know, but if there's eventually a program like that, uh, use that if you don't want to pay $5 or whatever it is for the in-game editor. I just bought the in-game editor, and I feel it's currently the easiest solution. But uh, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any extra questions, actually, don't leave them in the comments. Uh, I'm always active in Zealand's Discord. In the questions section, you can ping me at Ayal. Uh, I should be available there. But most of these issues I should uh, have already answered. The, remember, it's important to follow every step of the way. Like, you have to use this view. You have to import the views first off into the Football Manager folder. You have to move the .config file over. You have to also to wait for a new GAN manager. And it's a good idea to check the logs while it's doing its work. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.